Constitution, Dr. Bhim Rao Ramji Ambedkar was an Indian jurist, economist, social reformer, and political leader. A champion of civil rights, Dr. Ambedkar's vision for a free India was simple. If he wanted equality for all, irrespective of caste, gender, or religion. He carried these values and goals with him as he wrote India's constitution, became India's first minister of law, and resigned from government when the Indian cabinet and parliament refused to support crucial civil rights reforms. Mr. Speaker, today, as we welcome guests to Ottawa from across Canada, including the Chetna Association of Canada from Surrey and the Ravi Das Sabha from Burnaby, Mr. S to celebrate Dr. Ambedkar's equality today, it's an honour to recognise his long-lasting legacy and praise those who continue his work in India and abroad. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, Mr. Speaker. This hey. way, it gives me great pleasure to bring to the House's attention that May 6th is Dr. Ambedkar Equality Day and that we are celebrating this wonderful event in our nation's capital with a historic gathering of citizens from across Canada. Dr. Bimro Ramji Ambedkar was a towering figure both in his native India and around the world. From humble beginnings, suffering the abuse of caste discrimination, he rose to achieve the highest distinctions as a scholar, a lawyer, an author, a social reformer, and a political leader of global stature. Dr. Ambedkar played a major role in the formation of India, was the prime author of India's constitution, and served in the first cabinet of Prime Minister Nehru. Throughout, he relentlessly fought against the caste system and untouchability, courageously advocating for equality and dignity for everyone. Dr. Ambedkar left a lasting legacy of humanity that inspires us all to educate, <coughs> agitate, and organize for a better world. Special thanks to my friends from Sri Guru Ravidas Sabha and Gili Avenue. Jabim! Yeah.